डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ कम्स द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज़ द फेजेज ऑफ द फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव साइकिल प्लीज लिसन टू इट वेरी केयरफुली एज सोन एज देर इज द ऑनसेट ऑफ प्यूबर्टी और द फीमेल क्रॉसेज द एज ऑफ थर्टीन टू फोर्टीन ईयर्स हर पिट्यूट्री ग्लैंड स्टार्ट सिक्रीटिंग एफ एस एच एफ एस एच स्टैंड फॉर फोलिकल स्टिमुलेटिंग हॉर्मोन द फोलिकल स्टिमुलेटिंग हॉर्मोन स्टिमुलेट्स द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ प्राइमरी फोलिकल्स आई टोल्ड यू द फोलिकल्स आर द सेल्स वेयर द ओ साइड्स आर प्रेजेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ ग्रुप सो द प्राइमरी फोलिकल्स आर प्रोड्यूस्ड वन ऑफ दैम ग्रोज ओनली द रेस्ट ऑफ द फोलिकल्स आर ब्रोकन डाउन बाय अ प्रोसेस नोन एज फोलिकल एट्रेसिया inside the ovary the follicle stimulating hormone stimulates the tissues of the ovaries they start uh, the production of estrogen hormone estrogen hormone does two functions number one is stimulation and vascularization of endometrium endometrium is basically a spongy tissue like structure which is full of blood capillaries and it has protective as well as nutritive role for the fetus estrogen also inhibits the fsh secretion which stops producing more follicles now the less or the decreased level of follicle stimulating hormone and increased level of estrogen they again stimulate the pituitary gland and as a result pituitary gland secretes luteinizing hormone the luteinizing hormone or lh stimulates the ovulation i told you that ovulation is nothing but the release of the ovum from the ovary duct or from the follicles into the ovary duct and then into the uterus this process is known as ovulation release of the ova and ova means egg after ovulation the follicle becomes empty now it is known as corpus luteum the corpus luteum starts secreting progesterone hormone this hormone is very important because when the pregnancy is established this maintains the pregnancy but here progesterone develops the endometrium and forms the placenta which is basically a mean for the transport of material between the mother and the child and after birth the placenta is basically removed